Hi, my name is Igor Donko and in this video I'll show you my standard backpacking equipment. Uh, I could also say bug out bag, although there is a bit more of equipment today because I wanted to show you some things. So let's get started. The first thing to do is actually of course to get to the woods and uh, I'm lucky to live very near um, urban forest. It takes me just about 30 minutes to by feet to get to the location where I usually go. So this is something that I started doing actually during this corona uh, situation because uh, everything, everything was locked down and uh, you know, you don't have uh, nothing special to do. So I started exploring this thing and uh, just going into the nature and just uh, go going out also uh, in a season where I have a lot of work. It just feels good to to go into the nature and just uh, sit for a couple of hours and relax uh, and just uh, do some things and just uh, wind out. So, yeah. So let's get started. This is my bug out bag. My uh, my bag. It's a V Sport reindeer model reindeer 55. It's a 55 liter bag. It's a military rucksack. Um, it's very good uh, from a Polish manufacturer. Actually, it's about two kilos in weight, which is quite a lot, but. Regarding all the versatility and the functions it offers and also the durability, I decided to go for a rucksack like this. I was looking at 45 liters, but I know myself, I like to take a little bit more of things with me usually, so I like to have a bit extra room for even for clothes or whatever. So uh, I will not be doing a review in this uh, video, but just quickly, the rucksack offers a lot of attaching places so if I would go for a couple of days I put also a tent and uh, maybe some other things with me but today I just have a sleeping mat and I'll show you uh, everything that I have inside I took with me a uh, sleeping mat which is a self-inflatable it's uh, quite light and good for one person to lay down so if I open up the main compartment, first I'll show you some bigger things. I have a fleeced, fleeced blanket, it's very light and very warm, so always good to have either to sit on or just to, if uh, the situation comes to sleep somewhere, to cover yourself. Today I have some extra food, which is not important. Some apples then I always carry it with me uh, it's a bag with uh, some food which I will show you later I have uh, some basic cooking uh, equipment then uh, here is a sleeping bag um, fairly light and uh, pillow then I have this light uh, plastic uh, um, thing to cut stuff on, either if I cook something or if I do something, I have a clean surface to work. This is very good to have. Then I have uh, always with me um, a fresh pair of underwear and uh, a fresh pair of socks, because uh, when you put uh, fresh socks, it's always just like... Uh, feels so good so it's good to have this then I get to the electrical equipment um, a solar charger it's very light weight and it's small although it's a bit weak it's only 12 volt uh, but it's good enough to charge a phone or a small battery so this is something that I always carry with me and now when as I, I am at uh, the electric equipment I have with me always a battery 
5000 milliamp battery it's good for one full charge of phone and a cable and in case I'm in urban environment where electricity is to have a small adapter so usually I carry this together yeah. then what I carry with me in this bottom part bottom, bottom compartment of the pack of the rucksack uh, is a wind jacket and it's also to keep me warm it's very light and it's also can take a bit of um, rain if necessary so this is always I take it with me then I have my rain gear it's a uh, rain uh, wear it can pack quite small it's not so heavy and it's a total protection for the rain so this is also very important to have it's a uh, sitting mat just to put down and sit on it so it's a uh, warm and uh, cozy then this i don't take always with me but today i did um, it's a tarp it's a plastic simple plastic tarp uh, usually i would put this um, on the bottom of the floor uh, if i put up a tent or possibly even a tarp so this then I have a big tarp uh, big actually it's a standard three by three meters from DD hammocks it's a yeah, polyester tarp it's quite durable and it's, it's okay weight it's okay and uh, I put this as a, I use this as my roof or as my shelter if I make a shelter so if I open it up, here is the tarp and uh, there's also camping packs that I use and I have it with me. tarp is definitely good thing to have then I have this uh, extra uh, space uh, blanket and it's uh, it's very light and very small packs very small in case of uh, I don't know it gets very cold in the night or something I can always go in this and uh, it will keep me warm although I noticed that it doesn't breathe much so I get it gets wet but it's definitely good and it keeps you warm so light very small and it uh, can be used many times then I have uh, with me some ropes uh, there's a, these are not special ropes it's not paracord or something just regular ropes ropes that I bought in the store and it's it works fine for me for now to tie things down or to set up a tarp or whatever then this is something I always have with me it's very light it doesn't take much space and actually uh, it's this is more for the emergency actually these are like trash bags big big trash bags so in case I need to put something in or for some emergency shelter or to gather water rain or whatever I can also be using this or it has many uses many possible uses so this is what i have today in a bottom compartment if i went on a longer trip i would also of course take a tent probably i would take a tent because of bugs uh, i haven't tried sleeping in a tarp yet um, maybe i will do it at some soon point uh, it's still quite cold now but usually i take a tent uh, just to keep all the bugs out to have it clean and to, to sleep so this today I don't have with me then there is other things that I carry definitely I always take with me a camping knife it was fairly cheap but uh, it's good enough uh, good enough for me uh, <clears throat> to cut 
whatever I need to cut, either food or some things, then it's good. I like it because it also has a um, saw, a small saw to cut uh, some branches or whatever. It also have a uh, has a uh, tick removing equipment. And this is something uh, also that it has, but I don't really know. I don't really need it, but it, this is supposed to cut stuff up, like uh, ropes or some bags or whatever. But okay, this is also with it. It's not so light, but it's quite versatile, so I have it. And then, if I go further, it's this side compartment, one of two. <clears throat> I have here a pair of uh, leather, good leather working gloves, good leather working gloves. This is good if I need to uh, cut some wood, break some wood, do some things, definitely very good to have. And then I have uh, some basic cooking equipment, some gas, gas and uh, and a gas flame burner, small portable one. And it works very, very, very fine. Then in the, the other compartment, I have water with me. So this is a very good thing. Um, it's actually a two liter water bag and uh, <clears throat> it's good to have it. It's very light, uh, the, the packing is very light and it stores a lot of water. Uh, two liters is quite a lot. Uh, but if I would go on a longer trip I would also take a uh, steel uh, canteen, like a steel uh, bottle which is 1.2 liters and that one yeah, I could store and have much more water on me and also uh, possibly I can disinfect by uh, cooking that water. So this uh, is, uh, I like it also because it has this top which is like the usual bottle and I can attach a water filter to it which I have in the other compartment and this way I can uh, basically get drinking water. Uh, from anywhere almost from a stream river lake whatever so this is definitely a good thing to have then next i have uh, this it's a small uh, alcohol flask. Currently it uh, stores some vodka in it. In fact, uh, why not just take a sip right now? Uh, this is something it's nice to have, like uh, to take a sip, you know, when you come to somewhere, someplace and just take a little bit to drink. I still didn't have any breakfast or coffee this morning, so I'll make, just make myself a quick coffee. with me also a spoon and a fork. Now in this bag is some food that I carry with me. Right now it's quite full. 
and it's I have plenty I have just have this bag to keep it all together right now I'll need just some coffee this should be about it and some sugar I prefer brown this is something that my mother make, made it's a traditional food actually from Idria, a town she's from and it's called Jiloka so this is going to be my breakfast for today So here is my food pack, as mentioned I carry it in this bag, and let's see, I have rice, uh, a rice, you can cook a lot a lot of rice from just one bag, so I have this, then have some coffee with me. I have oil, uh, plant oil to, for cooking. Now here is a can called Mesni Zaitark. Uh, it's a can of meat. Then, as mentioned, I have uh, with me uh, sugar. I have some spices for cooking, like pepper and stuff like this, and salt, I think. Now here is the salt, just to show you, yeah, here is the salt I can use with cooking. Then I have two more cans, this is tuna, good with rice, just mix it up. I have some tea, now here is a uh, powder for a sport drink, I just put it in, in this package. Right now I have uh, a couple of bars, crunching bars with me, a chocolate, another bar, and hey, here I have some extra stack of MRA packaged food. Um, this one is already opened. Uh, but these are MRAs, food rations, here are three, and one should contain all the energy, vitamins and minerals you need for a day. So this can be eaten either just eating it or you can put it in water and cook it like a, and drink it like a soup or like a, something like that. So this is a bit heavy but I just have it with me, you never know when the need maybe comes to use something like this, something goes wrong and uh, so the food is not a problem. I have three days of food just in here, in case I ever need it. So as far as, far as food is concerned, in case of some emergency with this I could be good for a week, I guess, uh, with no problems. Possibly, in the case of a very big emergency, I guess I could go for a month. I'd be hungry though. Now, to continue with my equipment presentation, I'll show you what I have in my top part. First, here is the easy accessible part. And uh, I carry here a, uh, like a military hat. 
in case of sun, in case of rain, if I'm covered, it doesn't go in my eyes and uh, yeah, it's a military hat, very good to have. Then, uh, I always carry a headlamp with me, so to have light, it's very good for the night or whatever. Then I have, uh, this is not uh, a necessary equipment, but I like to carry it, it's, it's small, not so heavy, and it's a uh, monocular. Uh, just to be able to see, like, very far. This is Celestron uh, up close G2. It's cheap. It's not so heavy, it's quite light and uh, actually it's good. In case, uh, it's good to, 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 uh, to check some things in the distance or uh, the situation, if there's some situation you can check and see. Uh, from far away you can understand the situation. Or it just, uh, it's just good to watch some animal or whatever, so a monocular. Then I always carry with me, it's a pepper spray, a uh, small fog pepper spray. This is for personal protection, uh, very effective in case of some smaller animal attack, a dog, stray dog or whatever, or even a person. Uh, you don't hurt a person with this, but you definitely disable a person from, from attacking you further. I have some chewing gum. I have, of course, some paper napkins. And here is some candy. Always good to have a little bit of candy. Then there is another uh, inside compartment, top compartment of the rucksack, and it's, if you turn it around, it's here, and I'll show you some content of it. As used before, spoon and a fork. The battery and adapter is also shown before. Again, some some granola bars, just for a quick snack, without the need to open the big bag. Then, this is a, um, a piece of cotton cloth. This is very good to have either to filter the water in case of the need, or to clean, um, to clean uh, like the cooking utensils. First, you wash them with a little bit of water or some uh, can be used for many things so definitely a cotton some of the cotton cloth it's very good to have again some more of paper I have here a writing pad just to write down some ideas some things to think about observations or whatever this is good to have of course now here is another bandana it's like this one I have right now you can use it like this or for a hat or whatever so another bandana like this and uh, then there is some special equipment which I will also show you now First, I will show you some of my fire making equipment. So, I have a lighter with me, a working lighter. And in case this fails, I have a pack of match boxes. Match box. Next, I have a fire starter. Actually, this uh, this is a thing that's used for camping, and I just took some with me. You can buy it in a store. 
and it's actually a, a cardboard, a pressed cardboard infused with uh, wax. So it's really good to start a fire with this. Just take, I don't use all of course, I just for example would take this, cut it down on smaller pieces and uh, to help myself start a fire because it holds fire a bit and uh, it's good. So this is definitely something that I need and I have when I'm making a fire makes it much easier and also just today I have this uh, this fire making stick with me forgot what's the English name but basically you just make sparks with it so I still need to learn I just took this with me just to try a little bit today then next I have this bag this pack yeah and in here I have some special things. This is the earphones. Uh, in case I want to listen some, to some music from the phone or whatever, or the radio, I have this. Then here I have some sm a small, very light, small emergency radio I, I purchased on Amazon. Um, if something happens and I need to have some information what's going on, I can just use this. I would take two batteries from the light and put them in here, and I would use it to, to uh, yeah, to listen to the radio. It's okay, like a shortwave radio. Next, I have uh, what's it called? A fishing line. It's a 50 meter. It's very light and very strong. Should hold up to five kilos in case I need. I don't know do something make a trap or whatever or uh, can be very useful and it's 50 meters of this very strong small line then I have some plastic small plastic bags here's some adhesive tape then I have extra rope it's not for camping on, or anything, actually, it's to work. Uh, but it's okay, it's 50 meters in case I need some extra rope, I can use this also. Now here is some quick glue, just in case I ever need it. It's very small, very light, and can be very useful. Again, some extra bags. Here I have some sewing equipment, in case something breaks and I need to sew it back, I can use this and in the side, this paper, I also have the, the needle. Some extra plastic rubber bands. Here is a pen, in case um, the, the writing pen fails, I can use the regular one. And some extra, again, some extra tape. And all around the pen I put some wire which can also be used to, to make something if I need to. So this is my special pack of a little special things. It's not so heavy but and it's the things you don't really need usually but in case you know something happens I'm definitely prepared. And uh, one more thing I almost forgot to mention. I also have this with me. It's also small, light, and uh, it's like the armband, and it includes a paracord. In case of some emergency, you can cut this open and just use it as a paracord. Then uh, it has a whistle here, and also it's possible to make uh, some sparks with this uh, with this part. So, yeah, whistle extra rope and to make sparks uh, can be useful to have so with this I will conclude this video thank you for watching I'd just like to say if I went on a longer trip or a couple of day hike or whatever I would also take probably a tent with me which I don't have today and I would take a medical kit, which I also don't have, 
just in case of some emergency, some uh, basic uh, medicine and uh, stuff like that. And uh, also I would take my steel canteen, a water container, which I can also cook water in it if I need to. So again, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please click like, subscribe for future videos. Um, I make different content. I think it's interesting and uh, I hope I see you next time. And also a comment. If you have a comment, uh, something, uh, some new suggestions for me or whatever, you're welcome to comment. Uh, thank you again for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.